So we've got to just keep working hard to find our best footy. We've got to fix up some areas that are now trends in our game um, and fix them up really quickly. And we are working incredibly hard. And I've got to tell us, we are working incredibly hard to fix them. It's a familiar tale. When you look at the stat sheet, it's the same. You know, and we're working incredibly hard to fix it. Um, as a coaching group, as a playing group, we know what the issue is, but we just need to, to find a way to execute better. Same language, same result, but a long way apart. Melbourne fans are getting fed up, Matthew Lloyd, with the performance of their team early in the season. They are. There was a lot of venom Melbourne radio today with the Melbourne Demons. Just sick of being let down to think that they were 17th last year. And you think, OK, was that just an aberration? You know, a lot of injuries. They spoke about all the surgeries. But six wins and 21 losses since those two, that final series where they absolutely brilliant. Lost to West Coast in the prelim. You know, and as you can see, scores per inside 50, ranked 18th, goals 18th. They just have no answer. Here's some vision of things that just don't change. This is why I'd be frustrated. He's a young kid, Pickett. But you could do this every week of the easy goals. They could pick up four goals, Caro, every single week. They just make the same errors time. And so there's one, Viney. Right? He's beaten his man. There's a little hit up there to Hannon. So what is it, Lordo? Is Hannon. it coaching? Is it... Structure is a game plan. Is it self discipline? Is it decision making in the midfield? It's a good question, Hutchie. I think uh, obviously they they've recruited bulls, but who aren't great ball users. Um, I think this one, you know, that's unforgivable. So I think that there's no real forward that you'd want to kick to and kick long to. There's just no confidence in forwards. I don't think they're elite by foot. Anyone bar probably Petrarca, and um, all these players that they thought would be strong, like Wiedemann can't get a game and Ben will get a game. It's just uh, baffling, some of the selections. I don't know how Wiedemann doesn't get a game. Play him and decide once and for all. Tom McDonald's not the guy. Lovely guy. Mm. He's not the guy. He hasn't got the Superman. Yeah, Wiedemann's number one either, unfortunately. Um, And it's a season where the one-pace midfielders have come back to the pack and they've got a raft of them, Kane. Yeah, they They do. They do, Hutch. And, and f- how does he fix it? Well, it's a coaching issue now. I don't think it's a personnel issue. It's a coaching issue. We've seen that same issues coming up 12 months, year on year. And you've also got to look at how they see the list. They, they have clearly overestimated where they think they are in the list. Because if we look at their recent trades, you don't do this unless you think you are there in the window. You don't Absolutely go and give up pick no six. question. They thought they were close to the They did. And you don't go and get Tomlinson and Langdon and top up and pay big money for a 28-year-old and Stephen May or 27 at the that, time. That one word on that page, okay? King. Ben King. Yeah, and it would kill. It would kill watching him. Lord, I know how highly you've spoken of the King boys for a couple of years now, but seeing what he did, uh, Ben King for the Gold Coast in Geelong on Saturday night, would kill Demons fans. He's the one player that they need, and instead, you've got a 28 year old who hasn't fired a shot yeah. in Stephen May. They sold themselves hard in the off-season. They've overestimated themselves for two years in a row. Yeah. They're not going to make the finals, Melbourne. No, no chance. In fact, and they talk, and, and talk the pre-season, yep. Hutchie. Like, let's not release pre-season documentaries about how we're going and wheel out the shiny toys of Darren Burgess and Alan Richardson in the coaching department and things have changed. Let your actions do the talking. There's too much talk it's going coming out of It's a fascinating game be the Gold Coast this week. A team you feel has got, finally got it together versus one that uh, is falling apart at the same time. And they made a call on their, um, Jim, the, the original Jim Stein's Foundation Heroes for money so they don't have to get in further debt to the AFL. Not a great week to so be just on sending that, that message to members. You, you can't then go and pay out a coach, Simon Goodwin, who's got two years to go. So there, there's no pressure on Simon Goodwin's coach. You can't be asking for money and then well, go and pay a coach for two years. So they've for people, massive seven figures sums into their football department. So, so, you, so you, you think he's under pressure? Well, I think he's under significant pressure, but he, his, his job isn't under pressure because of the optics of paying out a coach for two years when you're doing things like that.